Well, road salt is really sodium chloride. It's the same as table salt. And the reason that we're concerned about it is when we apply salt to our sidewalks or our roads, it dissolves and it travels downhill to our lakes and rivers and it stays there. Salt is a persistent pollutant. It never biodegrades. It never goes away. So all the salt we've used for winter maintenance over the past 50 years, we now have in our lakes, our rivers, and our groundwater. And probably the most innovative practice right now for winter maintenance is the transition from granular de-icers to liquid de-icers. Liquid de-icers are about 80% water, so they have a lot less environmental impacts than granular de-icers. The county's been using liquid uh, de-icing materials along with salt for several years. We started out using salt brine, moved to calcium chloride, and most recently, those last few years, we've used a blended material where we've added beet juice, calcium chloride, and salt brine. We put those three chemicals together in our blending building and adjust the percentages according to temperatures. The colder it gets, the more calcium chloride or beet juice and the less calcium chloride you would use. All right, we're in the uh, blending building for the de-icer and this building will blend it all together via a computer, precisely mixes the exact percentages that we want. We can punch it in depending on what the weather is. Trucks will pull up on the outside. They, when they hit their switch, they'll hook up. When they hit the switch, all three pumps run. So it's basically on-demand blending. We used to have to actually have a patrolman come in and on a weekend or after hours, and you know if there was some sort of prediction to throw raw salt down on there. Well, we don't have to do that anymore. We use those chemicals both to, to pre-treat the roads before a storm hits. We're out two to three times a week spraying the liquids right onto bridge decks and intersections. And then during an active storm, all the trucks will apply the liquids on top of the salt as it's dispensed, dispensed out of the back of the truck. In 2005, 2006, our village board really wanted to start pushing green initiatives for all of our operations. So staff was instructed to look at all of uh, the different operations and um, come up with some uh, maybe alternatives that would be less impactful on the environment. And we decided to build an in-house mixing system where we would combine an agricultural product with liquid calcium chloride and salt brine. The village has experienced, uh, as I said, a, about a 30 to 40 percent reduction in salt usage since we've enacted this system. Cut hours, we've cut product, we've cut our impact on the environment, and we're providing better service. So for us, uh, uh, this liquid system's been a win-win. If we understand the temperature of the road, if we understand the de-icing properties of the chemicals, if we understand um, to remove the snow before we apply salt, we can use it in less quantities and be more knowledgeable about sustainable winter maintenance. If you're interested in viewing a list of preferred providers, that is those people who have participated in our trainings, please look at our website. If you're interested in, in, in being part of future trainings, please contact us and we'll put you on our list.